All right, uh, three of the hydraulic rams on this little tractor are leaking quite badly. I need to replace the seals in here. I'm losing quite a lot of oil out of them. So I'll loosen all these end caps, take them off the machine and replace the seals. Right, that's not coming off with the uh, tool. It's very, very tight. I'll try tapping around where the thread is and see if I can loosen it up. Otherwise, I'll have to use heat, I think. It's like just two seals there, which we need to replace. Yeah, they are quite brittle, so that'll be why they're leaking. Look at that, it's just falling apart. Crazy how it just sort of breaks apart like that, look at that. UHS25. Those piston seals are pretty stuffed as well. UHS-35 Velcro So we'll get some more of those They've seen better days That's the one that's leaking out the gland And there's an end seal there as well Look at that cracking in there It's just coming out in pieces it's gone all hard and brittle. No wonder it was leaking. <laughs> yeah, that one's quite hard as well. 
It's a UHS 25. Same as the other one, wiper seal is breaking up. Alright, the seals have arrived from Friday parts. That's the one. You are just 25. S35 for the piston seals. Yep, that's the one. Spot on. 12 by 2.5 O ring. Nice. DH25. Alright, we can start putting it back together. But I've heated up some hydraulic oil here in a mug just to make the seals a bit softer and easier to get on. So you want to put these on the piston with the, uh, the wide edge facing outwards. Get a bit of leverage on it. Don't use a zip tie. So you want the wide edge facing in towards the cylinder. These inside seals can be a bit tricky to get in, uh, especially when they're this size because there's not a lot of circumference to play with, so it can be interesting to be able to get your fingers in there. That wasn't too bad actually, these ones are quite flexible. That's good. All the way in, no damage. The warm oil definitely helps. It softens up the rubber. The wiper goes with the lip on the outside of the gland. Done. When you're getting these seals out, you just got to be a bit careful not to s scratch the the metal, because it can lead create like a path for the oil to get out.
So I'll just put a bit of grease in there, make it easier to get on. You want to keep everything pretty clean, putting it back together, so clean all my tools before I use them, just to make sure I'm not putting uh, grit in there. Click. I prefer putting a, um, a pin through the rod, but there's not enough room on this one, so I'm just going to punch the nut on the end to tighten up and uh, make it less likely to come off. So that just squeezes in the end of the nut, tightens it up a bit uh, without damaging the thread. Right, I've had a good look up in the uh, cylinders and there's no scoring or glazing. They look pretty good, so I'll just give them a bit of a wipe and um, won't worry about honing them this time. If there was any scratches or glazing, I would uh, hone them, but uh, they don't need it. Bit of grease on there to help it go on. in there without pinching.
that's working perfectly now. No more leaks. Sweet, that's all sorted. Just um, filling up a bit of a rut on the edge of the track there. It's ideal for little jobs like that. Being four wheel drive with plenty of low gears, it pushes in quite well to piles of dirt. So that took about uh, six or seven hours all up to do that job. Pretty simple job really. Would have taken a bit longer if I'd had to hone the cylinders. If they'd been glazed or scratched, I would have had to disconnect each cylinder, hone it and then flush it out. But uh, they were in quite good condition so I didn't bother. Job done. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.